Alrighty, hello guys, welcome in faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to try and build a boat. Now, the boat is going to be some sort of patrol vessel, so hopefully we can actually add weapons to it. Uh, and I think the weapon that we need to add the most is some sort of auto cannon uh, to the front deck of it. So, that's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to try and build the hull, and then we'll continue on afterwards. Yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so I don't expect this boat to be too big, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want it to be massive, but uh, I do want it to be kind of large, so I guess we'll see what happens here. But anyway, let's go ahead and start building, shall we? We always go with three to begin with, so that's what we're gonna do again, there we go. Uh, and then we're gonna go with three of these guys, and then we'll go with three of the other guys, and hopefully all of that will be good. Yes, there we go, let's go with three of those, and then we'll actually go with three of these guys. One two, three, there we go, and that seems like a pretty decent uh, start to a hull. Yes, it does, nice. Um, it's also probably deep enough for us, but what I want to do at the same time is I want to make this actually extend upwards uh, in a pretty much straight line, which seems weird, uh, but at the same time, I think it actually works out. Yeah, that'll do, nice. Okie dokie, so now we're actually going to go ahead and extend this backwards like so. I don't know how far backwards we need to take it, uh, but that seems pretty good right there. Yes! Actually, a little bit further, actually. Yes. So, patrol vessels, they don't necessarily have to be tiny, um, but I think they should be quite small. Uh, and in our situation, this one is definitely going to be quite small. But anyway, let's go ahead and start building, uh, and hopefully we can make this thing look pretty good. Uh, we're going to make it really wide to begin with, so I'm going to actually use these pieces, uh, which is not something I genuinely or generally do, uh, but in this situation, I think we can make this look pretty nice. Uh, just like that. There we go. Then this bit's going to be flat all the way to the back. And yeah, I think that'll actually fit in quite well. Uh, then, if we go ahead and we grab one of these, we can actually put that straight on there. Just like this. Uh, and that'll be fine. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Alright, I think we're actually going to go ahead and do this one more time. So this is all going to come out one more. Uh, just like this. I'll do it all the way down and uh, I'll show you guys when I'm finished. Okie dokie, there we go. So that does look pretty flat for the front of one of these boats, but I'm sure we can actually change this in a second. Literally all we have to do is this, there we go, uh, and then we can add all the other parts, and I think this will actually make it look way better. So let's go ahead and drag this down like so, there we go, good. Uh, then we obviously use this piece right here, whoop, there we go, and drag that down all the way to there, and then we'll have a flat bit on the bottom again, and that will be awesome, yes. That also means that this piece has to go like this, and that is pretty sick. Okay, good. And then from there, we actually take this piece, we attach it straight onto the side just like this, and it's as easy as just putting these on once again, all the way down the sides, and that is awesome. I'm going to start angling the bottom now as well, because uh, I feel like that makes sense. So there we go. Yes. All right, cool. And now the angles are changing. This should end up looking really, really cool. Yeah. Okie dokie, so there we go, we've gone backwards quite a bit, and uh, we're going to go ahead and extend this out as well, because we should, uh, and that's going to go all the way up to there, we're going to go ahead and put these pieces literally the same way, uh, all the way up to there, and that is starting to look pretty sick actually. Uh, we are going to continue it round, because I feel like we should, uh, and I think that's actually going to give us a good base uh, for what we want. So let's go ahead and continue this backwards, uh, like so, we'll probably end up having this bit just like this. And all of this is literally just going to be full of this. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to do something like this. There we go. And this is going to go on literally every single one of these. And hopefully that's all good. There we go. Drag this backwards like so. And I mean that looks kind of interesting I suppose. Uh, and I think it will totally work as the base of our boat. Yes. It looks weird but I like it. Okay good. So we're going to continue this backwards as we will. There we go just like this. And we're actually going to carry these sideways, like so. Now, I would say that warships usually um, are a little bit more pointy on the front. This thing doesn't really look like a warship as of right now. However, we're not really going for a warship warship. We are going for a patrol boat, which doesn't necessarily have to look all that good, I guess. Uh, so I think this will totally work as the base of our boat. I think it's pretty cool. Okie dokie, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get these pieces like so. We'll go ahead and drag these up the sides, 
and we'll do it twice probably, there we go. And then we'll switch on over to this guy, which we'll do this with, there we go, one, two. And then we'll switch over to this guy that we'll finish it with. So uh, that'll go like that, one, two, and three, there we go. Okay, so that's the front, that's the back, and that is pretty awesome. We'll actually have this be pretty level, there we go, because we can. And uh, it's the easiest and simplest way of finishing off the back of our boat. Um, which is always good, you know? Simplicity is always goodity. <laughs> goodity. Alright, cool. So, if this all attaches together, kind of like so, there we go. We can do it again. We can do it again. And that's all fine. Yes, it is. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and attach this onto here. There we go. Onto here. Very nice. And then the last few bits, this bit and this bit, and then these guys. All right, here we go. Up there, uh, up there, and up there. All right, cool. And then we just do this. Whoop, there we go. Okay, awesome. So there is the hull of our patrol boat. Awesome. Okie dokie. So with all this put in like this, let's go ahead and get our color for our deck, which is usually this color. There we go. We'll go ahead and whack this all the way backwards to there. And we'll fill all that in. We'll then do the same thing or similar thing up here to fill all of this in. And voila, we have ourselves the hull of our boat and we've also fit it all in. Very nice. We're then actually going to change all of the colours to grey. Now that might seem weird, but it is a patrol vessel and they're usually grey. <laughs> so there we go. But actually, I'm going to go with this green. My patrol boat is going to be this green. Right. Final thing then is we're going to delete this guy. We're going to delete this guy. We're going to delete this guy, we're going to delete this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, these guys, and this guy. Okay, right, so we're going to delete all of those. And you might be thinking, why? Uh, it's because I want the deck to look good, so we're going to actually replace all of these with paint blocks, and I'm going to fill them in so these don't look like really sharp edges. We're going to do it at the back too, because I should. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, and one, one. And that's it. All right, cool. So I'm going to fill all those in, and I'll come back to you guys once it's done. Okie dokie. So there we go. There's two painted pieces. We've done the two version, and we've done the one version, and that should be easy peasy to actually copy and paste. So we're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to move it this way. We're going to move it this way. We're going to paste it there. We're going to go this way. We're going to paste it in there as well. There we go. We're going to move it this way again. We're going to move it in. We're going to paste it there as well. Okay, good. We're then going to grab these two. We're going to go ahead and copy it. We're going to move it across. We're going to paste it, <laughs> uh, and we're going to do a lot of this because that's how it works. All right, paste. There we go. And then we're actually going to go ahead and turn it around, which seems odd, but yes. There we go. Paste it in there. Move it across. Paste it in here. And then we're going to copy and paste the entire thing in a second. However, we need to go to the back as well and do all of this. And there we go. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to merge all of these in with the base thing. There we go. Very good. Uh, merge this one, this one, and these guys right here as well, if we can. That would be pretty awesome. There we go. So now we just have to copy one side to the other side, but first we have to do this piece. So grab one of these. There we go. Go ahead and whack it straight in there like this, and then paint them. Yeah, we love paint. Woo! Yes. I'm very slow at doing these things, but that's okay. Right, we might as well just paint this one too, because it's easy. Whee! There we go. And paint all of this in. Yeah. All right, cool. So we'll paint all of that. We'll paint all of this one. And then we'll paint all of the other side because we need to. Uh, and then we'll have a really, really good base to actually build a vessel on, which would be awesome because I guess we kind of need to. So there you go. All right, cool. Put all that in. Very good. Uh, it's all merged already, so that's perfect. But we're going to go ahead and grab it from here. And we're going to cut it all the way up to here. Oh, God. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Okay, down to there. And then across, all the way to the edge. Go ahead and... Whoa. Have we got all of it? We do. Copy it. Press U. Take it over to the other side. Here we go. Just like this. Paste it in. Merge it. And voila, we have a really cool looking hull. That's awesome. The question is, though, does it float? And the answer is, yes, it does actually float. That is awesome. Yes. So this is actually a little bit bigger than I was expecting it to be. I'm not going to lie. But uh, I think it's a pretty good hull to base it on. So uh, with that being said, actually, we are going to delete from about here. There we go. And we're going to delete to here. And we're going to delete to here. And we're actually going to drop it down from there. Um, yeah, there we go. 
Because I think that looks pretty good like that. Uh, we'll then delete this. And we'll build a wall in there. That will fill this in. And then hopefully... We'll be good. Yeah, I think that works. I think that totally works, actually. Good. Uh, we're also then actually going to grab this piece. All the way up to... Whoa. All up to this piece. Good. We're going to copy it. We're going to move it backwards. We're going to turn it around. God, I can't see. I can't even see it. Where is it? Jesus. There we go. We're going to paste that right there. Okay. We're going to take it to the other side. We're going to do exactly the same thing. And we're going to merge it. Merge and merge. There we go. Because I think that actually looks way better. Uh, we will obviously make this look interesting as well. And a little bit better than it does currently. Uh, but I think we can actually make a pretty decent vessel out of this. So, I'm going to end the video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching this. Uh, if you guys want to continue watching a series like this one, let me know in the comments down below. And eventually we'll build up to, I don't know, maybe a battleship. But we'll have to see. Because I don't know. Battleships are pretty big. And uh, we'll struggle with doing that. But yeah, we could totally try. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm.